thank you for joining me here this evening for the port wine opening. So I will open for you today a 2006 uh, bottle of uh, port wine. Yeah. For that I will use a special tongue which is already on my burner. I'm heating it up. Then I have uh, regular water and ice water as well. So how I will open it, the procedure is the following. I heat the tongue up on the burner, then I will put it on the neck of the bottle. I will uh, turn it uh, several times, yes, and then I remove it. And hopefully with the ice water, we're going to have a crack on the neck, mm. on the point where I was heating it up. And then I will be able to remove it with the clear cut. These special port wines, the vintage port wines, they are always in the dark color bottle in order to protect them from the heat and from the lights. They usually are uh, aged in the bottles. Annette, ladies and gentlemen, of our manager. So now it's going to happen. Annette, do I need to evacuate the guests who are here right in the front? No, it's fine. It is fine, okay. If Annette said it's fine, you can trust her, it is fine. Because this is actually what they use is a traditional Portuguese way of opening this kind of vintage pots, yeah? So in Portugal for sure they sell it for you. Right, are we ready? Okay. Well, we have the sprinklers here, so that's one good thing. <laughs> so everything will be fine. Okay, it's the last day of the cruise, so it's also good. All right. Oh, there's smoke. Yeah, it's from the paper. So yes, yeah, I smell it. A little bit of the paper, but that's okay. It looks quite good. She's turning the tongs now. She's turning it now. It is smoking, yes. <laughs> but it will be fine. Let's hope and that says, okay, I will put the microphone now close to the bottle so you will hear the pop. Wait, this is the ice water. Ice water? Yeah. Ice water? Ice water. Did you hear? Did you hear? <laughs> a little thing. Okay, so Excellent. let's have a look. We put some more water on top in order not to, to burn her hands when she takes the uh, top off. And um, let's have a look how it looks, this nice vintage one. If I make it slowly, most probably will nothing goes through the, or out from the bottle actually to the decanter. But you need to have a lot of patience for that, yeah? No rush. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. Fantastic.